Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I made this. A helmet. Oops. Oops wrong one. Wrong one. This one. A fully 3D printed Iron Man helmet with a movable faceplate. So, let's get started. The process of building this entire helmet started off with some printing, sanding and smoothing, epoxying some of the uh, major voids up, spray painting the entire helmet, and then building the mechanism and the electronics to move the faceplate up and down. So let's kick things off with the 3D printing process. I used my Creality Ender 3 to print all of the parts. The parts were small enough to print, fit on the 150 millimeters by 150 millimeters build plate. I also used this awesome red filament, which was totally optional, optional for the color as the, I was gonna spray paint it later. It took about 35 to 40 hours to complete printing the helmet. And I'll share some of the challenges I faced along the way. Here, as you can see, my build plate didn't have good adhesion. So this part started to come off and I had a nozzle crack at the same time, which didn't really help this part. Step two was sanding and smoothing. After all the printing was done, the next step was achieving a smooth, polished look. I went through several rounds of print sanding, starting with a coarse grid and working my way up to the highest grid I used, which was right around 500. It was pretty labor intensive, but the results are totally worth it. Now to step three, epoxying some of the voids up. Now, by far, this was one of the hardest steps as if I was new to it and I was not sure what I was doing. But rest assured, if I was to do it next time, I think I could do a better job. I used epoxy to fill up all the gaps and voids and I tried to give it a more seamless finish. Once I was done epoxying, well, it was back to sanding. Then we were on to step four, spray painting. I think by far this was the most fun process. I used vibrant red and golden colors to spray paint all the parts of the helmet. Here, I had some difficulties as I wasn't going to be spray painting indoors and there was no way of keep holding the parts down when I was spray painting it outdoors. So I came up with this little idea of having a little piece of thread swinging up from the roof of my patio where I used to tie off the part, finish spray painting it, let it dry, take it off, tie a new piece on, and then repeat. And then it was on to the mechanism where I, had, I used two servo motors inside the helmet to move the faceplate up and down. This was a little tough as I had to route the wires from the inside and I also had to have a button on the outside, preferably by the ear, to help make the helmet faceplate go up and down. The electronics for this project were pretty basic. I used an Arduino Nano, two servo motors, along with just a simple button to control the movements. And once this was all done, the project was basically done. I did a few touch-ups, and then my final result was ready.
like, comment, subscribe. Stay awesome.